Welcome everyone. I would like to show you how to easily download the bootcamp drivers for your MacBook Pro 16 inch. These modded drivers will allow you to play Modern Warfare properly at a high FPS and you won't have those graphical issues and most likely future Call of Duty games and also other games will run at a higher performance. This tutorial right here, while it is a great tutorial, it's way too long at almost 30 minutes we can make this around 10 minutes. So, so first of all, go to the link in the description, bootcampdrivers.com. Then you're going to hover over Downloads, hover over Windows 10, hover over 2020 Drivers, and you see right here, Adrenaline April 2020, Blue Enterprise Edition, Best for MacBook Pro 16-inch and Radeon 500 Series IMAX. This April right here could be a later date, but we're going to click on the April one right here. So click, and it's going to bring you to Mega. Now, we're going to click on download and you'll see the download process for our drivers will start downloading. We have this pop up saying mega.nz wants to store files on this device. You want to click on allow. Now the download will start. I'm going to cut once we are finished. Now you can see the download has completed right here. So we're going to click on this one and we have a folder. So we're going to drag this folder to our desktop. So I'm going to click, drag and copy because it is a 700 megabyte file, it might take a bit of time. Now we have this folder right here called Windows 10, Radeon Software, etc. So we're going to double click on this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click on the DDU right here. And we're going to click on Extract. And there we go. Now we have this DDU folder right here. Next we're going to go to Bin64, double click on the folder. Now we see right here, AMD Cleanup Utility, double click on this one. Click on yes. Now it says AMD Cleanup Utility has detected that your system is not currently in safe mode. Would you like to reboot and run in safe mode? We're going to click on yes. Now your Windows computer will restart. We don't actually use the tool. We use, you know, that thing so that we can actually go into safe mode. It's a lot easier than messing around. So now we are back into the Windows logo. If you see the Apple logo, then you just need to hold down on the option key. But we should be booted back into Windows. I'm going to type in. I think it wants me to enter in my uh, Microsoft Store password. Okay, so you need to enter in your Microsoft uh, Store password, the one which is linked to your account. If you have an offline account, just enter in your offline account password. Now it says this process will remove the AMD drivers, but we're not using this tool, so we're going to click on Cancel. Next, we're going to go to our folder again. We're going to click on DDU. Then we're going to click on Display Driver Uninstaller, and this is the one that we want. So we are now brought into here, click on the X, and we have these general options. What we're going to do is we see these AMD specific options. We're going to enable all of these right here, and that's good. We're going to click on close. Now we're going to click on select device type. We're going to see right here GPU, and it's already auto selected AMD. If it hasn't, you know what to do. Next. We see right here, clean and do not restart. We're going to click on this one three times. So this is the first one, and it will uninstall the drivers for the first time. And you need to do this three times, because if you don't, then there's an actual chance that the drivers will not uninstall. Click on no on that pop-up, then we're going to do it the second time. There we go. Click on no, and we'll do this the third time. There we go. Now we click on clean and restart. That's the final time, and after this process, your um, MacBook will restart. I almost said Windows computer. <laughs> that would actually be kind of funny, and our computer will restart. Again, if you see the Apple logo, all you need to do is hold down the Option key, and then select the Windows partition to boot into Windows. So it seems like we're going to get the Windows logo again. There we go, Windows. And we should now be booting up into Windows. So I think it wants my Microsoft Store password again. So I'm going to enter that one in. There we go. Yep. So that's all good. Oh, for some reason we are still in safe mode. Doesn't really matter. So we're going to open up this folder again. And we see right here the setup. Double click on this setup. And now we should be brought to the Radeon software installer. And if you get any errors, that is because... You haven't uninstalled the drivers, so just rewatch the tutorial. If we go to additional options, you want to click on factory reset, and you have to do this, right? Make sure you select uh, this one right here. Now click on install, 
and the drivers will start installing on your macOS computer. For some reason, like the camera isn't fully focused. I think it's just uh, not the best lighting in my room, but I mean, what can you do, I guess? Now it says your system will restart. We're gonna just click on restart now and we'll restart. Make sure you boot back into Windows, not Mac OS. If you boot into Mac OS, you just need to um, restart your device and then go back into Windows. So it's not really a big deal. Now we're on the Windows boot page. And I love how fast SSDs are. I mean, we wouldn't, this would take a lot longer if we weren't using an SSD. Now I think we're in normal Windows mode. Yeah, now I'll ask the pin. So I'm going to enter that one in, like so. And automatically, the AMD um, drive installation should show up. If it doesn't, and it seems like it won't, we're going to double click on this folder and we're just going to double click on setup, click on yes, and now it will resume where it left off. So don't worry about that. So OneDrive, okay, no one cares. And you can see now it's going to start the install process. Nice and easy. So I guess we'll just do this again. There we go. Now it's start installing. Now we're going to restart again. And by the way, this we are almost done, which is the great part. So this, this doesn't need to be 25 minutes. I'm assuming I can probably cut this down to around 7 minutes, 8 minutes, or 10 minutes if it has to be. So um, let's unlock the computer. And really, the AMD thing should show up after boot. It really should. So I'm going to wait. And there we go. Now it's going to show up after boot. And now our drivers are installing completely. If it still doesn't show up after boot, you have to go into this folder and you have to run the setup again. But really, it should install. It says nine minutes is remaining. It shouldn't take that long. But just keep in mind, just leave your computer on. Make sure it's plugged into the power source. And just be patient. I'll speed this part up. Now it says right here, would you like to install this device software? We're going to click on install. There we go. Now what we see here, welcome to AMD Radeon software. I'm going to um, disable anonymous usage information. If you want to help them out, then you can. But do keep in mind that if you have any issues, they're not going to fix this because this is modded AMD driver. So it, there's no point of having that on. Launch AMD Radeon software, we're going to have that enabled. Now we're going to click on finish. And there we go, we have the AMD Radeon Pro software. So if we go to video, um, you want to leave this on default. And the important part is with applications. Because you click on this one, then you have global settings. And you can change all the settings for your games. So there we go, we have finished installing the AMD drivers. Now you'll be able to play Modern Warfare without any issues and other games will run at a uh, faster speed. If you have any questions, let me know. I don't run the website, but I thought I'd make this tutorial because the other one's just way too long. And look, I have 10 minutes of recording time in total. So see you guys.